Hey everyone and welcome back to a late day 12. Apologies for the timing, but it's out and it's on the right day. You can tell that it's our first day back at school as teachers, can't you? Very busy. So we're going to take a look today. Oh, there's my Hoover. Hoover bonus for today. We're going to take a look at this question type that you can see on the screen right now. There are lots of words, lots of things we call this word correspondence. At the end of the day, we've just got to make a sentence make sense. Now let's take a look at this one then. Builder is to something, and it's going to be one of those three words in the first bracket, as chef is to something, and it's going to be one of those words in the second bracket. Now, we've got to pick the two best words to complete the sentence in the best way. How can we do that? Well, as always, we've got our top tips at the bottom in our pink box. So, first one, be systematic. That's obvious. It's a really helpful tip in almost everything that we do in this test. But being systematic means that we're more likely to get an answer, and that means working in an orderly fashion, not just looking at random answers to see if they work. We're going to start with build, because that's the first word in the first bracket. So, builder is to build. This is where the second bit of information comes in at the bottom. Find the link in the first word. Does it match with any in the second? What do we mean by that? Well, the best way is to just show you. So, if builder is to build, what's that link between these two words? Well, there is a link there. A builder builds. That's what a builder does as part of the job. So we're going to now take a look at the second word here, which is chef, and the second set of brackets. Are there any words that go together in the same way? So a builder builds for his job. What does a chef do for their job? Yeah, they cook, right? They make food. Is that one of the answers here? A chef uh, is to eat? No, they might eat, but it's not part of their job to eat, so it's not going to be eat. Uh, cook? Uh, well... Yes, that's the answer, isn't it? Chefs cook for their job. So this is the verb, the thing that the profession does. A builder builds and a chef cooks. So the answer to this question would be A, why? Let's take a look at another one here and just be aware that the way the link is made is not always the same. For example, last time we had professions and what they do. That managed to get us a link for both sides. This one is different. Let's take a look. Strong is to weight, huge and weak as clever, clever is to dim, old and heavy. Hmm, okay. Well, let's follow up options at the bottom. Let's be systematic. We'll start with strong is to weight. I guess if you're strong, you can lift heavier things, heavier weights if you go to the gym. So let's see if there's a link there. So if you're strong, you can lift heavier things, lift more weight. If you're clever, you can do more dim, do more old, do more heavy. It doesn't make any sense. So the way that weight goes with strong for this question does not match with any of these in the second uh, set of brackets for the second word. So we can actually eliminate weight as an option. It's not going to be A. Let's be systematic and go into huge. Strong and huge. I guess some people who are very strong get huge muscles and they get bigger. So if you're strong, maybe you're bigger? Okay, no, a bit of a weak link there. I don't think it's going to be B, but we'll check anyway. Clever is to dim. People who are clever are dim, that doesn't make any sense. People who are clever are old, there's no link there with age. People who are clever are heavy, that just is absolute nonsense. So actually B, using our systematic way and the second um, hint at the bottom there, which is to check how the words go together, it can't be that. So actually we know, and we're hoping anyway, fingers crossed, that C is going to be the answer. Strong is too weak. Well, hopefully you can see straight away, they're opposites. So if we are going to find an answer that's correct here, we need to find a word that's opposite to clever. Can you see it yet? Yeah, it's dim. Now, dim is a trick here because it's a homophone. There are two different meanings for dim. It could be due to do with light. It's very dark if it's dim. But also dim is another way of saying someone who is potentially less clever. So we can call them dim. So strong is too weak as clever is to dim. They are opposites. And the answer for this question is C and X. So one more for us to go through. The first one was a profession and what they do. The second one was opposites. Let's take a look at what this one could be. Could be something different again. As long as it's the same link in both the start and the end of the sentence, we're gonna get an answer. Sit is to chair. We're working systematically. You sit in a chair. So let's see if there's a link there for stand. You stand in a hold. No. You stand in a sky. No. You stand in an up. No. So the way that chair goes with sit does not match with any of the second brackets. So we can get rid of chair as an option. Down. Sit is to down. Well, when you sit, you move down. Your body sits down. Sit down. Okay, let's see if anything works on the right-hand side. You stand hold. No. You stand sky. 
nonsense and you stand up aha yes you do if you sit is to down you sit down just like stand is to up you stand up these two go together in the same way it's the direction you go when you do it when you sit you go down when you stand you go up the answer to this question is b and z so guys this one is for you it's the final question all i want you to remember is the hints and tips in that box down there be systematic does the link in the first bracket go into the same way for the second bracket okay is that link the same for both halves of this sentence final tip at the bottom something we've been doing as we go anyway just make sure that that new sentence makes sense so one on the board matt is to what as duvet is to what see if you can find a link see if you can be systematic see if you can get an answer and do let us know if you have found it thank you guys for watching and we will be back tomorrow for another daily video even if this one was a little bit late sorry guys see you tomorrow